Good day lads and welcome to our Git Kraken show. Today we're going to talk about the branches, how to create them and how to do merges from the different branches into your branch or when you want to merge someone else's branch. So the branches in the Git Kraken, it's like the save points. Uh, by default, usually we have the master branch in any repository. This is usually the branch where we keep the latest productive and uh, workable changes. It doesn't supposed to work like this, but uh, usually people try to follow this rule. So, uh, let's say we have our branch, master branch. This is master. And uh, we somewhere up there on this latest commit. We would like to make some changes, some fixes, uh, and we are talking about a situation when we are not working alone in this repo, we are working with someone else. So we would like to have uh, to create our changes, but do not push them into the master because they might affect uh, to other people's code or just affect on the master branch, which also might be not good because before you can push the changes into the master, you would like to test them, you would like to make sure that they're workable and all this stuff. So to do so, you can create like the different branch, call it whatever you want, and you start it up there. And in the same time, other guy or someone else can create the new commit to the master. Meanwhile, you create your own commits in your own branch. Uh, let's say my branch. This will be the name. And you keep in commit the changes uh, into this branch. Unless you 100% sure that you are ready to share these changes and merge them into the master. And this is where our merger situation is coming. So let's say in the master we have some other commits as well. Some, some Someone else... Uh, made a commit into the master branch. It could be any other branch. The same works uh, with any other branches. And once you've done, you merge these uh, changes. So now uh, master will have changes of your branch. Until this time, no one will see your changes uh, unless, of course, uh, somebody won't merge them. So this is the basically why uh, one of the situation why you need the branches. Uh, you work independently. You make some changes. And you work, in, as I said, you work independently uh, into your own branches while other people working in theirs. And you uh, share your changes through the merge. How does it work uh, on a real Git Kraken experience? So here we have the master branch we in the latest commit. And we decided to add some features, make some fixes, whatever. So we create the branches, uh, branch up there. As you can see, it's quite easy. Create branch up here. You can name it whatever you want. Usually uh, try to name your branch according to what you're going to do inside of it. Uh, I mean, what what is your uh, next plan to, to make inside this branch? What kind of the changes it, will it uh, contain? You can name it as if you want to, whatever you like. But let's say we want to add some new features. So you type something like feature uh, with numbers. We've created a new branch. We automatically in it. As, a, as you can see, uh, this branch exists only locally. We can jump back to the master if we want, but uh, if we want to have to be in this branch, we need to choose this and it exists only locally. So our repository doesn't know anything about it. So if you open our Git, there is still will be only one branch available. OK, so we now in our branch, uh, let's open our. Let's open our folder, which contains actually our test repo. So this is our test repo. This is our files which we created in the previous lesson. And let's say we've uh, decided to add some new file called uh, fixes uh, .json, uh with some content inside. Uh, if we want, we can add something in it. Oh, no, let's actually, yeah, let's uh, let's add some let's add something inside of it. Uh, just an empty object for now. Keep it saved. 
as you can see we haven't committed changes in our branch so we can commit them uh, first add the commit message message in new branch uh, I've committed it now as you can see and let's say that uh, me and while we were doing our changes someone else was doing his changes in the master branch. Moreover, we can jump back to the master and if we open our file, we won't have uh, this fix.json file just because uh, master didn't contain it. And let's say someone in this branch have created uh, another file with some something else called fixes.json but this time it will be number two and also some empty object inside. Uh, let's save the changes. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's put some empty object. Uh, save it. Commit, uh, because we are now in the master and someone else, or me, myself, uh, commit changes. Stage the file. As you can see, it's also on local right now. I will push it while I'm in the master branch, so the master will have it. And now we have another commit into our uh, into our uh, master branch. Let's go back, jump in our branch, and uh, let's push it. Let's push it to the server. As you can see, I've pushed the changes of the features with numbers branch into the git. So now if we open the git, the git will know about the new branch. We can see this. This is our file fixes.json. Okay, so now we've committed some changes and we would like, uh, for example, to have them into the master. I mean, we finished the fixes inside these branches. If we want, we can, let's, uh, for example, add another commit add another commit uh, inside this branch which will contain something else uh, let's say it will contain this is our repo and uh, we've made some changes in this file hello free we make some changes as well the new commit inside our new branch stage file uh, commit message push it and now we would like to receive these changes either from the branch either from the master uh, either we let's say we want to receive the changes from the master so to do so we need to do the merge you can see merge master into the future with numbers as you can see it was successfully merged so now we can have files of our own fixes and the change test for uh, test to hello file test file 2 sorry and the fixes 2.json which was created into the master branch by someone else actually it was created by by us but as an example i just wanted to show you that this is how you can get the changes from the master uh, let's say that we decided staying in this branch to create a new file we've created a new file new file.txt we don't have this file okay one two three up there just some fast changes. Uh, commit the changes. Uh, blah blah. Let's don't forget to push it if you want it. If you want the repo to know your changes, if you don't push it, they will be locally. That makes sense sometimes when, for example, you're working and you don't, don't would like to share your changes unless you're 100% sure that they verified and everything is working. Uh, otherwise, uh, the good idea to push it so you can download them from any other place of the world or any other people can have them. You can push it. And now let's say we decided that this latest commit is fine. We uh, want to share these changes or some, some of our other collaborator would like to receive our changes from this branch. So this guy who is now in the master just need uh, when he's uh, when he jump onto the master the latest master changes he needs to merge it uh, as you can see feature with number into the master and in this case he also don't forget to push after the merge 
and if we open our file again we can have all the files which we've created along with all the changes so this is, was the quick example of how to work with the branches how to create them and how to merge them leave your comments or any other questions if you have any thanks for watching